Say hi, Mama. Hello, hi. Oh, phone for you. Got it. Hello? I got it. Hello? Hi. Say mama. Hello? Where's mommy? Where's mama? Where is she? Where's mommy? Where is she? I haven't got one in this phone. You're going to eat it? Yum, yum, yum mommy. Sure. Pregnant for um, Kate. Hello, hi. Were you early or were you late? Mm -hmm. or you're late. You were late. How late was I? Mm -hmm. How late? Oh, me too. I was two weeks late on my first. No, we no. were meant to be soul sisters. <laughs> I, I called the doctor's like my back was just hurting. hurting. So that bad. was back labor. And uh, so I called. He said, "Come on in." So I did. And he said, "I'm going to send you right now." I said, "Why?" I'm thinking that it's got to be contracted. Yeah. No, he said, "You're you actually starting." So. Can see there that was back phone? labor, yeah. and so you had her naturally or cesarean yeah. or what? Hello. How long were you in labor? Nobody uh, there. Three days. <laughs> Nobody there. <laughs> I, Hello. I, I okay, think it just a matter she of probably feels twenty four oh. years. Oh. Twenty four years. Oh. You know, when when, uh, when they when they started with the medication, oh. all they just started uh -huh. getting really rapid. But Do you remember what time she was born? She went up one thirty three, I believe, in the afternoon. I thought I was born at six in the night. You know what I was so glad about? Well, yeah, it was they in the evening. Have fathers involved in that <laughs> crap. Hey, hey, you need to take. You're glad that they didn't have fathers involved. Oh glad? yeah, sure. I don't want to be in there. Why was that? Because you would get sick. Oh, no, it's <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah, now okay, we're gonna. I mean, everybody's gonna involved. The whole family. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Yeah. I was there Come for on, your birth. Mommy was yeah, there for G's birth. So we didn't even know whether she didn't know whether. So you were in the hospital room by yourself. And mommy. All this stuff? Or they let him in? <coughs> Look at you standing! Oh, Look oh, at you! Yay! Did you see her? G. Oh yeah, she was babbling in. <laughs> Uh, Mama Frugier's father died in her arms? Yeah. She told you that? She told me that. That's so sad. But see, things like that but happened in those days. I know. Yeah, they weren't in hospitals. Yeah. And you don't have any idea how your grandmother died? Nope. No story on that? No. Her, she was buried in Gaydon, but I, you know, I don't know where. I mean, the cemetery. Were you born in Gaydon? Hmm? Where were you born? No, they weren't born in Gaydon. Mama was born in Labadeville. And they were, they lived in Franklin. And where, 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 where were you born? Were you born in Gaydon? I was born in Gaydon. How long did you live there? Huh? How long did you live there? Did who live there? How long did you live there? When did you move How to Texas? How long did I live there? From 1923 to 1942. And then you moved to, to Port Arthur? Mm -hmm. Y'all moved to Port Arthur then? Or you moved somewhere else? Do you move to Port Arthur after that? Yeah. Oh, and then from there on? Why did you move to Port Arthur? Because Gladys and ours, they were all living here and Mama wanted to move here. Jobs, I think, huh? Probably because there were jobs. Mm -hmm. Must have been, there were jobs, I think, well, in the I oil refineries. Here. Well, I was pregnant when we came here to Port Arthur. Oh, really? Yeah. With Chester him? Got a, Chester got a job. <laughs> you were pregnant with him? <laughs> okay. Huh. <laughs> You're pregnant with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was sleeping. Um, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know you were pregnant with him when you moved to Port Arthur already. I got it. Yeah. So you met Chester in Gaydon. Oh, yeah. I knew him all my life, I oh. guess. 
Yeah. He died in the 90s. He died. How long ago did Chester uh, die? In, he died in no, 2000. Oh, it was about then. Chester died in 2000? You don't know? Yeah, he that sounds about right. Uh, that sounds about right. He had a heart attack? Uh, he had a heart attack, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be checking my heart soon. <laughs> yeah, everybody seems to have died with a heart attack. I know. <laughs> my daddy, my mama. Look her, 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 her side. Uh, her side. Think about it, Kelly. I know. Look, I know. Sides. There's a lot of heart attacks. Yeah. Lauren Bruce if he doesn't do something with himself, he's going to. I know. You're right. You're right. I think Mark's family has heart things, too. You know what's. T you know what I remember? Um. What? One of my favorite stories is whenever you wanted to get a job at the, uh, was it Texaco? Remember when you were, had those, you had two sons and you needed a better job? And you went to Texaco? Didn't you tell me you went every day to get a job? Yeah. Until they gave you a job? Tell me that story. Well. <laughs> That's a good story. Yeah, well, I had worked at the Texas Island before I went to me. Moved, left and went to Victoria. Oh. To be with Chester. And when I went back, when I was playing up for Donald, I went to work at, uh, oh, where they call it, where they made, the, we made these shells and all, until I was four months pregnant. After Donald was born, I went to, I go to the Texas company, uh, Every day to, until I got a job. One day this man told me, you know, I'm going to give you a job. I'm tired of seeing you come here every day. You're <laughs> kidding me, you know. I see all that smoke up there. You're going to have to uh, try story. and get all that smoke down. And, you know, he, he just yeah. kidding me. And he gave me a job. What did you, what kind of job? Getting the smoke down. <laughs> he was kidding there. <laughs> no, I How'd that go? I worked in the case filling room. I have to tell you, I have to tell you how it was in those days, too. It was weird. Uh, case she filling room. We no stenciled job. all the cans, you know, that were oh. the army cans and all of that. The army cans? Well, we'd fill stuff for the uh, For the, for the military. Oh, got it. It serves and... So you bugged him. How long did you bug him until he gave you a job? Huh? How long did you bug him until he gave you a job? How long did I? Go and see him at how many? Oh, just a few weeks. Oh, that's not bad. That's good. No. And that, then you worked there a long time? <coughs> uh, I worked there for about four years until Ernest, you know, married Ernest. And oh. He wanted me to quit working so I'd be home when he was home. Oh, yeah? Because he worked there, and we were working different shifts. And so who was I quit taking care of, Who was taking care of Dad? Mama Frugier? Mama Frugier was taking care of Dad? Who she was taking care of Dad and Donnie? Mama Frugier? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we're Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good story. I always like that story. You know those days, if, if you got... You're giving her a party? Yes. You got a lot of kids to invite? She has friends at school. So right. we have five one-year-olds invited. Then we have little kids that our friends are friend, or have that are older than she is, most of them. The youngest one is two. Two. And the other ones are like seven and four. And So there's other age kids, but Mark wanted one-year-olds there too. So we have one-year-olds that I don't know anybody. I don't know any of the people. There'll be one year old there. I wash it anyway, so. I guess on Saturday it will be a year that we got the call that there was a baby for us. Probably this coming Saturday. August 1st. 
That seemed to be the longest thing to me. I mean, I flew in. I remember what was I going they on. They didn't know baby. That baby is never good because they didn't know baby there. And it was only 18 days that we <laughs> waited for a baby. You think people wait three years for a baby? I'm, no, I'm serious. It seemed like forever. For oh, me. I know. Well, because cause you, see, you, all, you all thought it was going to be sooner, too. See? Well, they called and said she's having the baby Friday by C-section. She had her facts wrong. The doctor was like, no. And I'm glad he left her in because she probably was easier baby because she wasn't out too soon. It might be. You know, 10 days in the womb is a big deal. Excuse me. And she still came by C-section. She did. It wasn't like little mongrel. I don't think she's going to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's going to sleep. I'm so tired. Did she look like you thought she was going to look? Did the baby look like you thought she would look like, Mama? Do what? Did you think, did Gabrielle look like you thought she would look? She looked different than you thought? Sure does. does the baby look like you thought she would look? Uh, no, she don't, her pictures don't look like her. Her, yeah, she looks different a lot. In her picture. I don't know what I'd expect. I expected her to be a little bit taller. Yeah. <laughs> She is sharp. Well, she does look taller in her pictures, like that bathing. Yeah. Like in her bathing suit and stuff. Right. Yeah. She's like ha average height. She's average height on the charts. But she does, I know Sherry thinks she looks small too. We should have named her Tiny. Right. <laughs> no, she, I don't know how to, you know. It's hard to say. Mark said she does not look smaller than the other children in her class. Well, probably she isn't. Uh, well, she could be. I mean, just, her birth mother was very short. You know, from her pictures, to me, she, she looks littler. Her little bigger. legs look this long, I think. Now, her little round face, yeah, that's her face. Yeah. That's a cute uh, round face. Her lips. Looks like she has lipstick on. She's cute. She is so cute. Pucker. I know. But she was good when all were gone. I know. She was, in, she was playing with you, uh, with Carl, and she played with me a little while. In fact, she sat on my lap. I held her up for a while. Good. Mark is right to leave. And, uh, she was as, as good as she could be. I mean, you couldn't have asked. Then that. we get there. <laughs> yes, she didn't hold her to you. Didn't uh, uh, to you. Matter of fact, I thought she was fixing to go to sleep. Yeah. Because she just she finished have. the rest of her bottle and, and she was laying back and stuff. And yeah. You She's could tired. tell she was fighting it a little bit, but I mean, she wasn't rambunctious fighting it. She was distracted when we walked out. She didn't cry when we were gone, right? She didn't notice. If she sees us leaving, then she's like, wah. The car left and went to my room to pick up and get my stuff. And she got upset because Carl had left. Oh, yeah. Right. Already. She's a guy girl. <sighs> yeah, yeah, she is. She's like me in that way. She likes the guys. Hang out with the guys. last night she would not stop screaming. So we would try our tricks where we put her to sleep. Different people put babies to sleep differently. When we put her to sleep, when it's time for her to go to bed at 8.30, right before then, we'll get in the chair with her, hold her, and she starts eh, 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 knowing it's time to go to bed. She gets squirmy, eh, ah, she rub her eyes, and then she, eh, uh, after about five minutes or so, she starts to close her eyes before she's all the way asleep, then we put her in the crib, and she usually goes, uh, uh you know, bites that thing that she, in her hand, that hippopotamus, and then she goes to sleep. 
Well, so because she would not stop wailing, and she never, ever, ever does that, ever. This was totally different. I said, let me pick her up and see if I'd lull her down and then put her down. But every time I'd put her down, she would know and she would go berserk. You know what? It might be kind of like us. So once you reach that point and you pass that point, then you, you're like not, not going to go to sleep. That doesn't happen to me, but I understand what you mean. I go to sleep, I go to sleep. <laughs> if I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. So I'm holding her in the bed, and she's like, goes right to sleep. I'm holding her, and I'm like, maybe she's just sleeping here. But we'll squirrel on her, squish her. It was not good. So I'm holding her, and she's laying back. And every once in a while, she open her eyes. She look around. Oh, Mommy's still here. Close her eyes back, right? You should have left her in the bed. <laughs> I know. Then, uh, but I'm scared to sleep with her in the bed. You know, Mark is like 300 pounds, and if he rolls on her, it's a bit bad situation. And even if I roll on her, so then I go true, 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 and, that is, and I'm lit. I'm holding her against my body all the way down into that thing. The last few inches, I can't quite bend over. Boom! I put her in. She's like, <laughs> and then she's, and then we were like turning off the lights. We were even dreaming. We were gonna maybe watch a movie, put her down, watch a movie. We have Seinfeld on. I'm like, turn off the TV. Everything off. Still didn't work. Like I could barely see, and you could tell if she's crying in there, or you could tell if she's crying above. Then I would look, and I'm like, I'd see her mound ahead, screaming, Mama, 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 <laughs> on and on and on. I was like, oh, I'm going to go bananas, because I was jet lagged. I was so ready to go to sleep. I'm like, I'm losing my mind. <clears throat> and then I have this cough. So she goes to sleep, right? Then I start coughing because you get this uncontrollable cough. I woke her up. It was over. It was a terrible night. <laughs> and I could, and she, you'd think she would wear down, right? No, just wailing and wailing, standing up there. It's like 11.30 at night, our time. Three hours later than she was back. I could, I could I, and I could just barely hear. You're lucky you guys don't have good hearing, because I know we're disturbing everybody. Probably not. But you can hear. These walls are probably now oh. a new hotel. It would have been over, yeah. yeah but she you always heard. goes to sleep at the same time when you're home. Every eight thirty every night, boom. That's beautiful. She is like a mate. So this whole river <coughs> roll is what people go through every night somehow, and I'm like. <gasps> I was I'm not. That, that crib that she was in too didn't impress her too much. It looked like one of these things that you you see in people in, in yeah hotels and all. I throws the dirty clothes in <laughs> and rolls it down the aisle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah. But you know what? She slept in one of those in Mexico, and she was fun. That's what they had in Mexico: pack and play. Poor it does look like a clothes hamper. But, yeah, they, it's funny that she, but it has a mattress this thick. I mean, I don't think it's any less comfortable. It's just different. Did she take a, like, coming on the plane? She took a good trip? She, good she was on good trip? on the trip. She slept for the first hour, and then she was awake, and she didn't do any of that. <laughs> Mark kept her entertained the whole time, and I held her while he got settled on the plane, but I was in exit row, so I couldn't keep her there. And she was so good, I, I said, are you ready to switch? And he's like, no. She didn't make a peep. I was just going to switch seats with him and hold her. But this time, we're across from each other, and we can pass her back and forth. He was one row ahead of me. It wasn't easy to pass her back and forth, but we'll be able to just be like, here. Yeah. Poor child. Hopefully, she'll be good on the way home. I'm hoping she's just tired. Maybe she'll sleep. But then when we get her home, who knows what will happen tomorrow. That's why I'm, not, I'm glad I'm not working. Could be a bad scene tomorrow. <laughs>